You know, taking that oath. Bad idea. Oh, yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the system, fuck our Osaka, fuck the NUSA. Jesus Christ, V, this ain't some teenage anarchist boot camp. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. Mean Dogtown chose a new pope? Maybe the Veep crashed Space Force too. Curious as I am, we got an important call to make. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, you finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon.
have around here. Where else would I be from, Jim? D-Town, born and raised.
Captain Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it.
Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Thin. What's this? Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Oh, 
come on. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? A friend? Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Green No, man. The fuck Hanson got against the plane? Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down? I don't know what happened. Oh, elbow has a hitch. seats in the house gonna be a game to remember Johnny Silverhand basketball fan that's new you know what I mean another game starting one where your head's the fucking ball about the same thing 
Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storm's what's brewing. Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. <laughs> Never told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. <laughs> Tore out that chapter. Crumpled it, swallowed it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Got the warning. I'll keep one foot out the door. Too late. Swore an oath to the new fucking United fucking States of America. If you faked it, it makes you a pushover. If you meant it, it makes you a tool. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. <laughs> Hans, what you holding? Johnny, who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you yeah. see. I see you holding something. Show me. Like to know who I'm talking to. Old line there, Chul. You know who I am. Now, hands, show me. Got this token? Mean anything to you? I need to make sure. <laughs> Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? A mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. You might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble <laughs> around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? <laughs> Don't know. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well, you get one point for being candid. Had a girl. Black Thornton Merrimack, on the street. Three minutes, front mm. seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed? <coughs> Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey, you see that guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. Black Thornton.
Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. Had to make sure. I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Al Biz. Never introduced myself. Indeed. You did not. Scan me? NCPD databases wouldn't give you anything. Mm-hmm. And only the NCPD tax people of interest collects data. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. No man. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? So me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just FYI, not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone in Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? The derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. That's your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Uh, this is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Had a ciggy on the balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. She's capable of taking care of herself, you know. I actually had uninvited guests last night. Ejected via the garbage chute. Sometimes that's the only way out. The 
If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up. It's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm good. Glad to see you are too. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So, it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. So, a uh, cast of hawks squawking for war. For some, the war never ended. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. She was coordinating our escape, guiding us. Something happened mid-op. Elaborate. Like, she was attacked? Don't know, hard to describe. Whatever the case, it's fucking bad news. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean you died already? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you'd let an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Might have... slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a Chum who would leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. I wouldn't. I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V. You said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying. But you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Something's more important than Eddie's, Reed. That, we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name. The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead woman. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Gotta wait and see. Won't we? If we want to find Somi, 
we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Rest easy. Can be real persuasive when I need to be. Zeal's good, but don't wreak havoc. Not too much, not yet. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. She's gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. It's me. I need a cab. Two people. Long ride. No, no papers. Not this time. Yeah, Dogtown. Waterfront. Usual spot. Thanks. Done. We should leave. Best if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Good luck, V. So how do we get out of this little corner of paradise? Let's just say it'll be a bumpy ride. <laughs> just like old times.
Hey, yo, you damn fool stupid! the dressing. Still dry? Stitches on in place? Dude, it hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. <sighs> we'll all rot without Anderson anyway. Scavs kick you out of the clinic? What's it look like, a Sunday picnic? Fixer never said you had to evacuate the premises. Ah, oh, you're from Hans. V, right? Thank God you're here. <laughs> Looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, that we haven't tried. So what, you're Anderson's right hand? Not a physician, if that's what you mean. I provide spiritual comfort. How's that going for you? The patients, they're afraid. If something happens to Anderson, they'll have nowhere to go. This place used to be a church? Yes, mine. But these days, few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. At least you're still helping him. True. But <laughs> where's a priest to confess?
Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. What, a bar guest salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. Attention, what do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. The scav still lets you look after the patients. In a sense. Then Nico ordered them to take us all outside. Nobody's allowed in. Said it was between her and Anthony. She doesn't want anyone killed. Uh, or anyone talking later. Scav's got all the doors covered? Made one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in... Head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me.
Fuck! Generator conked out again? No, probably Nika made short circuit. She wants to get the Ripper. Well, security should be good and dead now. <laughs> Wish she'd do it earlier. Place stinks like dog piss. Again?
same life. his hand. My tomb had that exact same
President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Netherlands. Talk calmly or not at all. Stay back! Where's Gaspar? Tell me! Chill. Gun down. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know, nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scabs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ah, fuck! You, Merc, help me! I can't fucking believe this. Gasper's dead. What? You're lying! He was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell, your other patients! You... You 
fucking murderer! Am I hearing this right? You flatlined a patient just to save a few eddies? Me? I profit from none of this. There was nothing I could do. Why delay the inevitable? We'll extract his implants. They'll go to people who still need them. You won't lay a goddamn finger on him. Give me my brother. No! No. What did you say? Fuck! Uh, help! Where's his body? Fuck off, Scav! Your brother's gone. I won't let him get Gaspar! Accept it. Let Anderson go. Done that from the start? Need me for anything else? Hmm. Better clean up this mess. The patients, what's their status? With Odell, out in the street waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. Kind of busy here. Thank you. 